Last month, a Gallup poll showed that 75% of Americans believe that the Bible is the word of God, whether that's literally or just metaphorically. 75%. But when Gallup broke down their numbers, there was actually a really surprising group of people on that list. There were non-Christians who believed in the literal word of God. Think about that for a second. These are people who are not Christians, but they think Genesis is real, and they believe in young earth creationism, they believe in Noah's Ark, and they believe Jesus rose from the dead. So who are these people? I mean, we're talking a small group of people. We're only talking like a couple dozen people, literally, who said this, but that number should be zero. So, so who are these people who are not Christians, but they totally think the Bible is 100% true? The most likely explanation is it's not so much the people, it may actually be the problem with the question itself. What Gallup asked is, you know, which of the following statements corresponds with your view of the Bible? You know, and one of the options was the Bible is the word of God and it should be taken literally word for word. Now, I'm sure there are a lot of people who heard that option and they're thinking, oh, well, it's religion and I respect it. And so, yeah, I mean, I guess the Bible is true. And I'm sure if you ask them, you know, do you believe the Quran is true, literally, word for word, they would say, oh, yeah, I'm sure it is. So I think part of the problem is just the way the question is worded. There are a lot of people who just think religion is a good thing and they went ahead and said yes. It's also possible that there were some people who responded to that question and they said, oh, I'm not a Christian. But it's not because they don't accept Jesus. You know, these are the people who say, I'm spiritual but not religious. These are the people who say, oh, I'm not Christian. I'm just a follower of Jesus. And these people said, I'm not a Christian, but I think the Bible is true literally word for word. That's another possibility out there. The way to fix this problem is for the pollsters to come up with really easy to understand definitions that aren't going to confuse anybody. That means with the religious labels, including Christian, like if you're a follower of Christ, you ought to be in the Christian category and you shouldn't be able to get away with that. And, you know, when it comes to accepting the Bible, they need to be very clear about what they mean when they say, you know, do you accept the Bible literally word for word? You know, what are the implications of that? It'd be, I don't know if everyone knows what the implications of that are. And by the way, this is the same conversation that people have when it comes to the question about evolution or creationism. You know, Gallup does that poll too. Do you accept that, you know, we were created in our present form sometime in the past 10,000 years? Or do you think, you know, we evolved? And that first option is about young earth creationism, but a lot of people don't know that. They're like, oh, was I created like this? You know, did, yeah. How many people even understand science? Not that many. So I'm sure there are a lot of people who, if you actually explain to them creationism and evolution, they'd say, oh yeah, evolution makes perfect sense. But when the poll question is just read like that, they're like, oh yeah, that creation response, that, that option I was given, even though they didn't say the word creationism, that makes sense to me because they don't think about those things. So ignorance, at some level, plays an important role in a lot of these surveys. They lead to a lot of anomalies that are kind of difficult to explain. Uh, and it may not be something we're all going to be able to fix anytime soon, but it's at least something we need to keep in the back of our heads when we look at these surveys. You know, how accurate, uh, how representative are they really of the American population? My name is Hemant Mehta, and I write at FriendlyAtheist.com. Please leave a comment below, and we will be sure to check it out.